let's get to the videos. What the hell are we doing here? I just busted you out of jail. Get the hell out of here! How do you feel? Well, I'll tell you when you did my... Yeah. No, 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 no. Come on, we gotta concentrate. Gotta concentrate. <laughs> Get in. Hey, no one in the whole wide world ever done something so nice for me. Hey, Vicky. Hmm. Am I taking Sandoval down to the courthouse today? Bobby was taking car. Oh, you. Oh, great. Yeah, more flat earth stories. Thanks. <laughs> Better you than me. <laughs> Love you. Is this your first time? Hmm? No. No judgment here. Got Sandoval, Stephen A, prelim hearing. Cover that. Your Majesty. Night spike. Tommy. You're late. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was some set time I was supposed to be here. I was sitting here starving. Well, you knew I was coming to check on you. Why don't you just wait a couple extra minutes? Come on. Come on, let it go. Go sit down. I'll take care of it. You need me to help you to your chair? I think I can walk to the damn chair. 
You drinking all this alcohol with your Parkinson's meds? You know better than to do that. Hope you're done wagging your tongue if all you're gonna do is criticize. I don't know why we got divorced. I love having this conversation over and over. Anyway, how was your day? What's so funny? How was my day? Um, you know that movie about the groundhog? It was playing the other night on the TV, and I watched it, and I said, well, that is my life. I don't get you. Every day is exactly the same. So you could ask me this tomorrow. You could ask me a year from now how my day was. Go to work, come home, check in on you. Uh -huh. You know, the other night, I decided to go out to a bar. You know, got all dolled up, went to the bar to see what would happen, and uh, God, I was invisible. I don't know. It's humiliating. Ugh. And how kind of guy are you going to meet in a bar? I met you in a bar. <laughs> Apparently, that taught you nothing. This is my life. It is what it is. Sometimes, though, I feel like punching a hole in a wall. Feel free. Can you burn it? Hey, there you are. Oh, you're looking for me? Yeah, you busy? Congratulations. You guys. What are you doing? Oh, thanks. <laughs> now, the kink got a little bump bringing it here, but that won't hurt the eating none. <laughs> oh. Did you pick it up, you big loser? <laughs> this this is really great, guys. Thank you so much. Um, you all deserve this just as much as I do, except for Gus, who I know we, you know, we're all carrying on our shoulders. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. Um, thank you. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's very rare that you get to work with people that are like family, and so I, I, um, I'm very blessed and very honored. So thank you very much. <laughs> One more thing here. Yeah, oh boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to say except that. Let's dig into this cake. some penitentiary for sentencing on multiple federal convictions. I know I'm here, buddy. Look, I understand you do, but you gotta understand that I gotta read this out loud for you to confirm it. Let's get it done, then. The prisoner understands that this is strictly a temporary facility where you'll be held until your business at the courthouse is concluded. Let's get moving. Hey, Vicky. Recognize the new guy at all? I think I'd remember meeting a tall drink of water like this one. Why? His name's Casey White. Same last name. Figures y'all might be cousins. <laughs> Kissing cousins, maybe even. Hey, how's your punk ass looking? Oh, hey, hey! Hey, 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 Mikey is my boyfriend. Anyway. Hmm. Well, come on in. I really wish you'd call first. I'm not going to call you when I live right next door. Uh, Mom, I'm getting ready for bed. What is it that you want? Well, I... And hear me out before you react, but I think I met a man you'd really like. Oh, really? You, you, oh, hell, Mom, you came over here to say that? He was helping me reach some... You take that attitude, you know, you got to put yourself out there. Those days are over, Mom. Oh, that's crazy. You're a young woman still. I'm in my 50s. That's young. People still get married in their 50s. Oh, I'm not getting married again. Come on, you know I hated it. Oh, he's a very nice man. It seems a shame you just dismiss it without even meeting him. He's toothless, isn't he? Very handsome. He's smart and funny, and I guess he's about 70 or so. Okay. Good night. What? Good night, Mama. What? Because of his age? Uh, when you cross the yard, please don't slip in any of the gopher holes, okay? Why do I bother going out of my way? I don't know. All right. Let's get you in the car. 
want you to be late for your court date. I was just glad my kissing cousin's the one driving me today. Okay, why don't you save the kissing for the judge's ass where it might actually do some good? <laughs> glad you found that funny, dumbass. You like driving? Mm -hmm. you're, you're a real good driver. Thank you. Gosh, you're pretty. You know, looking at you is like staring at the sun. You're so pretty, you hurt my eyes. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You got a fella? Can't be. Lady like you? What's the matter with the men around here? Well, I guess they like them young. Ah, uh, a bunch of dummies is what I say. Yeah, well, I'm not looking. I got my work, I got my dog, I got my mom. Yeah? My plate is full. Apparently, all your previous interactions with the legal system did nothing to deter your actions, resulting in the convictions which bring you before me today of attempted murder, kidnapping, holding victims hostage, breaking and entering, burglary, robbery, and other assorted miscellany. By the end of one momentous meth in a high-speed chase, Mr. White, a man like you has no place in civil society. I therefore impose the maximum sentence permissible by law, a term of 75 years in the federal penitentiary. Mr. White, <laughs> you're awfully chipper for someone who just had 75 years handed to him. Well, you know, they tried to put me away my whole life. I, I dodged them for 36 years. They would do a whip. And don't listen to all what that judge was saying, because I ain't done all that stuff. <laughs> He's talking about you and me. Yeah, what about you and me? I don't know. I mean, you got that special something. I mean, every time you're around, I <laughs> Is can't that stop right? looking at you. I guess the uh, pickings are pretty slim here in prison. Oh, no, that ain't it. No, no, I, if I saw you on the outside, I'd come right up to you. Well, you know, I bet if you saw what else there. If this is about your commissary, I am not giving you any money. You know how many times I go through this in a day? <laughs> My uh, goodness. I'm serious. You have a sexy lady. Anybody can't, can't see that damn fool. What? Boy, I'll, I'll, get, I'll, I'll go you one better. You're a good person. Yeah, I can tell. I ain't had too many of them in my life. Oh, that's very nice of you to say, Casey. Thank you. Well, if I say it, I mean it, you know? Yeah, when I get out of here, I'm going to take you out for a good time. Yeah, I ain't doing all that time. <laughs> no, I'll get out on parole. You watch me. Yeah. I don't know about that. What? God, guys done way worse than me. They get out all the time. No, I'll, I'll get out, and uh, you and I'll be in good enough shape to do something about it. OK. I'll bite. You get out. What are you going to do? Well, I hope you like flowers, because you'll be getting them every day. Well, I do like flowers. <laughs> Best I can do in this hellhole, but she's a flower. I like flowers. Thank you. Very cute. <laughs> what else are you gonna do? Well, show you the time of your life. Uh, we'll get married. Have a bowl of kids. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just settle down in a nice three-bedroom jail cell? How's that sound? Now that sounds good to me. He's just being silly. It's all good. Oh.
Casey, Laura's here. We're gonna walk on out of here, okay? Damn it! This your last day on the job. Drop it there! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Can't nobody take your junk anymore! Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, ladies, you win. Willard Sims. Based on true events. You don't want your mother's story or your grandmother's. You want your story, Mary. My stepdaddy terrified us. We we should should you. I leave it to God to decide who's guilty. Would you kill for me? The Mary Bailey story premieres next Saturday at 8. Part of truly unbelievable movies on Lifetime. Probably you're the... yeah. uh, I'll be missing you, I'll tell you what. You will. Yeah, of course I will. What do you think? I mean, you may be in here down there nice. Well, I'm going to talk to you later. Is she the last of me, Blondie? No. Well, I ain't gonna let us. Boyfriend's got a mouth on. Shut up, Gus. <laughs> Foster. Did you like what I sent you? Oh, he's still like out to take care of me. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to bring a little sunshine into your life. Yeah, well, I can use it. I've been getting into it lately with some of the Dixie Mob boys. Dixie Mob? Casey, those are some badass gangbangers. You don't want to mess with them. Yeah, you know, they see a guy big as me, gives him points that they can take me down. You know how it goes. Just be careful around those boys. I'd just be sick if anything happened to you. Well, it'd be worth it if a man you came up here and kissed my boobles. <laughs> hey, Disneyland, although I did manage to make some of them Dixie Mom boys look like Mickey Mouse. 
Well, I just wish there was something more I could do. Yeah, well, you know, maybe you can't. Well, what are you wearing? <laughs> um, I don't know. What do you want me to be wearing? Sexiest thing you got. OK, well, you're going to have to give me a second, because right now, I'm not wearing anything at all. Baby, 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 you don't know what you're doing to me. Dude, a little old naked me. <laughs> well, you better be holding on to something, because I'm about to get real descriptive. <laughs> Baby, that sounds like it's going to hurt. <laughs> Did I tell you to stop? <laughs> OK, my turn. Mm. You like that, baby? Oh, baby, you're killing me over here. Well, good, because I'm about to go in for round two, and I need to spit out my gum, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Jesus, Mom! I'm sorry, I just didn't want to miss you. Ronnie here could only come by for just a bit. It's uh, very pleasant to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ronnie. I, I sure wish my mom would have given me the heads up you were coming by. Uh, well, I really wanted you two to meet. Uh, I hear you're divorced. See, I, I am too. Huh, that is real great. I wish I had more time. But I, uh... Yeah, yeah, me, me too. Actually, I gotta get, um... Matter if I use the bathroom, I... Got a bit of... That key is for emergencies only. He owns his own transmission shop. Mom, I do not need you trying to set me up with people. What's the matter with him? It's not that he's too old this time. I met somebody, okay? Since when? I don't know when. We've been talking a long time. It's one of those long distance things. Oh, honey, those things never work out. And why am I just hearing about this now? Because I don't want to share him yet. Just be happy for me, OK? Oh, my dear Lord. You want me to stay till you fall asleep? I'm going to be taking a long sleep pretty soon, I think. Don't talk that way. You know I don't think that's funny. Can't walk no more. Can't piss on my own no more. And I ain't going to try too hard to stick around. Well, let me ask you a serious question. If you had it to do over again, would you still do all the same things, all the booze and the drugs and stuff? Like, start over, you mean? I'd probably do a lot more of it. So you're telling me you just do it all over again and ruin your body and waste your life? Well, a waste to me. Not a good time. Besides, how much better is your life than mine? Well, let's see. Um, I didn't ruin myself. I didn't destroy my body with drugs and alcohol. <laughs> I'm still walking around. Yeah, you're walking. You're walking in place, yeah. But I still have hope. Me too. I hope you're done asking me these dumb questions. I guess I am. Good night. OK. 
come check on you tomorrow. No voy a hacer más tiempo. Are you thinking about this guy? Two days. How am I supposed to come with that kind of crap? I just can't believe you came up here. Are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, they didn't hit nothing important. See, they, they stitched me up good as new. We can get you out of here. Get you transferred somewhere safe until your appeal comes. My appeal, it came up. Uh, I got, got rejected. What? Yeah, yeah, I guess it was a, a long shot, although I, I, I'm pretty pinching my lawyer because the way she was talking, you'd have thought I, I'd be out of here in no time at all. Is there something else you could do? I, 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 I just don't know. There's got to be something else. Yeah, I, I had a few ideas, none of them great, but I, I just don't know. Damn it, we just can't get a break. Honey, what works out? Are you away from me, won't you? I ain't going anywhere. So, Mr. White, Sheriff Nicholson here received this letter from you, and in it, you confessed to the 2015 murder of Karen Lewiston. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did that. You realize this letter will go to the district attorney who, uh, dollars to donuts, I presume, will file murder charge. No, I figured you guys would send me to the Lauderdale facility near the court until my arraignment, right? Well, that is generally how it works. When someone confesses to murder, they typically go to court. Yeah, but you guys send me to the Lauderdale facility, right? That's correct. Wow. Uh, yeah, all right then. All right then. It's all yours. Vicky, tell me appreciated everything you did for him. That was just something he was saying to me about a wasted life. We get you out of here. Five brides go to the. Oh, what is that? Just gonna stay away. Oh. Uh, you ran into a little bit of trouble last time you were here. You gonna behave yourself this time? Oh, well, make no promises I can't keep. Well, don't forget, we've all got our eyes on you. Have a pleasant stay. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Watch your head. Alone at last. Well, Casey, I just don't get it. What? What I do? Oh, I don't know. Uh, you could Any face. Really? And you're okay with a, a murder conviction? Oh, they can't give me any more time that makes any difference. So you, you really said that just so you could come back here and see me? Wild horses, baby doll. 
the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Honey, I don't want to upset you. I'm sorry. You're sorry about what? I shouldn't have talked to you like that. Hey, it's okay. I didn't kill that lady. Oh, ho, I smell french fries. Ah, get your own boy. Hey, I'm starving. Tim will starve to death. Surprise, but not too many. <laughs> oh, I miss this. Mm. Casey, there's um, something I want to ask you about that's really been. What's that, darling? You know, in court, the judge huh? was talking about that woman's death. And... What? Come on now. I, I, I said all that stuff yesterday. Get out of Donald's and get me back here. Josh was saying you knew things that you wouldn't have known. God, I wish there was a way I could just keep you here with me all the time. Yeah, yeah, me too. I guess the best I can hope for is they send me to a better prison, you know, like Holman, St. Clair. The downside is I'll probably be so far. I'll never see you again. But maybe that's a good thing. Listen, I don't want a treasure like you to be wasting your time with me. Hell, Casey, don't talk like that. Yeah, but, honey. There he is. Here's my big boy. There's my big boy. Spike, get over here. Get over here. Come and see your mama. In for life. <laughs> Am I so unlovable, Spike? I guess I am. I think I'm a good person. What if I, what if I was able to? I'll bring him to this dump, I'll tell you that much. Probably have to just leave the country or something. Are we gonna have another issue like yesterday? No. Get out of my face! Hey! One out! I got it. Back I got up! It. I got it. Let, just let me handle it. Let me handle it. I don't I give don't a damn seriously. Got... Anger. Why? Well, what's he gonna do? He's gonna put me back in prison? Uh, nobody's gonna put you in solitary confinement. Is that what you want? I've been thinking about us. I got some plans. And it might turn out real well for you. What? I can't tell you. But I need you to chill, and I need you to be on your best behavior. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right.
Why would you do this, Vicky? I just think it's time. You know, if you retire early, you lose a good chunk to get all of it. Right. Um, I just, I need a change, Sheriff. I'm so tired and burnt out. And uh, I, I feel like I gotta listen to the voice in my head. Whenever I do that, never ends well. I'm sure you guys will be able to get along just fine without me. Chin's the best we got. You're really decided, huh? Wow. We're all gonna miss you. I just think you got ripped off, so. How can you say that? I got exactly what I was asking for. But Vicky, you know the money, okay? $95,000. What is it to you? What is it to you, Mom? I need it. If I want to take it to Vegas and bet it all on red, that's what I'm going to do. If I want to take it and buy Arabian stallions, that's what I'm going to do. It's my money. It's my life. I'm 56 years old, Mom. I'm sorry. I don't mean to act like that with you. Uh, I'm not. For Tommy's funeral, remember how there was hardly anybody there? Mm. What's gonna come to my funeral, Mom? Vicky. Nobody. Nobody. Oh, Tommy, one time he said, my life is not much more meaningful than his. And, you know, he's right. Come on, that's not true. It is true, Mom. It is true. I work in a prison all day. I come home, I'm still in a prison. Sorry, Spikey. I'm still in a prison. And I cannot live that way anymore. I am... I just need to... It is the start of a new era. You're an author. Oh, I can't believe I wrote a book. It's just the start. I can see... A Lifetime original movie. This is going to sound crazy. I think that something bad is on the horizon. How kind of game you think you're playing? You are the one stalking. I knew there was something off about you. You're crazy. Stay away from her, or I'll make sure that you do. Devil on My Doorstep premieres Saturday, November 11th on Lifetime. When you have big plumbing problems, you need superhuman solutions. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. A Lifetime original movie. This is going to sound crazy. I think that something... I knew there was something off about you. You're crazy. Stay away from her, or I'll make sure that you do. Devil on My Doorstep premieres Saturday, November 11th on Lifetime. Spiky. Look what I bought. Huh? What do you think about this? Don't you think he's gonna look foxy in this? Hmm? Spike. Spikey. What's that? Yeah. I like it too. I like it too. <laughs> Charlene? I didn't know you worked here. I didn't know you shopped here. <laughs> First time. <laughs> When'd you get out? Two years. You staying clean? I don't touch the stuff. You really help me, Vicky, you know that? Well, I'm, I'm glad if I could. So how are you doing? You got a special someone or are you shopping for yourself? I got someone. <laughs> well, what are you guys into? We got toys, we got gels that taste good, lotions that heat up when you use them. If you're into the hard stuff, we got whips, all kinds of like stockings or something okay, like that. Okay, okay, traditional. Yeah. You're talking batteries or no batteries? The regular kind. Is he into handcuffs and all? No, he is not. <laughs> no, he is not. They don't have a car dealership in Spring Valley? I'm sorry? Your address. It's an hour and a half away. That's an awful long way to travel for an old used car. I'm just in town visiting family. You can have this back. Okay. 
pleasure doing business with you, Miss Jeffries. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'll take this one. Everyone loves the semi. So, what kind of ammo are you looking for? Home use, free range. Thousand rounds, critical defense, 73 grain. Well, that'll stop them. I'll get you more in the back. Uh, I will take all of this. Cash credit. Oh, we ain't done. Let's talk shotguns. Yeah. All right, bye, Spike. For a few hours. A few hours, Mama, I'm, I'm gonna be gone for a while. Like, days. Oh, a few days. Where are you going? I am, I am putting myself out there. Yeah. Good. All right. <laughs> bye, Mama. Bye-bye. Love you. Love you. Roll tie taxi. Where are you going? How can I help you? Hey, Gus, uh, I'm going to be taking Casey White down to the courthouse for a psyche bell. OK, just uh, give me a minute to sign out. Why well, you got to sign out? Well, to go with you. Yeah, I, I can handle it. Yeah, well, except for the last time when he tried to escape, there's new requirements of transporting him, at least two officers. Mm, mm hmm Yeah, normally, but uh, we got a full docket today, and I already got authorization from the director. And you know, he's gonna be shackled. Hands, I think I'm running a fever. And so, um, when I drop him off, I'm gonna head on over to urgent care. And uh, I don't know how long that's gonna take. Uh, sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, go ahead. I feel better. Thanks. See you when you get back. Mm hmm. Casey White. He's not in there? No, he ain't. Damn it. Here's my favorite vlog. Oh, Casey, come on, you gotta come with me right now. Where? Just come with me. Huh? Come on, you too, Vicky? It's nothing bad. Huh? I got one hour, one hour wreck time a day. Everybody trying to cut it short for this or that. Put your voice down. Why? Why? What you gonna do? You're going to shoot me for yelling? Casey, Casey, no, Casey. I know you want to. Casey, listen to me. Remember, I said I had something special going for you? Yeah. yeah. OK, it's happening now. It's a lot better than rec time, so let's go. If it ain't you and me and the janitor's car, I'm going to be real disappointed. We're going for a ride. So it is you and me and the janitor's car. Busted you out of jail. Uh, you messing with me? It's real. What? Yeah. Get the hell out of here. How do you feel? Well, I'll tell no. you when you get my, yeah. my shackles out. Crazy lady. Concentrate. Gotta concentrate. Mm. Something so nice for me. Oh, you drive me crazy. Jason, we're gonna get them back. Oh, let me tell with a smile on my face. <laughs> Come on. No. 
All right, save it for later. I love it, but let's get out of here. Whoa! <laughs> air smells a whole lot different, tell you what. Yeah, it does. How the hell you come up with this crazy idea? Oh, I've been thinking about this for a long time. And yeah? I just rolled the dice, you wouldn't object. Well, snake eyes, honey, you roll them right. Look in that bag in the back seat. Think one? Yeah, open it up. Take a look. Woo! Baby! That's more money than I've ever seen. It's $93,000. Okay, that'll at least get us out of the country, right? Where do you want to go? Mexico or Canada? Well, we can't go to Mexico. I, I don't talk Mexican. Okay, well, Mexico is closer. Yeah, well, you talk Mexican? Spanish? No. But I figured we could learn. Well, learn. I ain't have to learn the English. <laughs> <laughs> well, Canada it is, then. Oh, baby. Damn, I thought we was near. Yes, Casey, don't worry. I swear, I got us a good head start. I mean, we'll be hours out before they even notice one missing. Why are you even doing this, huh? I mean, I got nothing to lose, but, but you, I mean, hey, I got nothing to lose either. Bones? Mm hmm Whole new wardrobe. Tell me I look like one of them Kardashian bras. Look at you, sexy lady. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, baby! You shouldn't have. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. Oh, it's a beauty. Pow! You dead, Chief? <laughs> Honey, what the hell are you doing? When they come looking for us, you're gonna be looking for an orange car. Get to spraying. No. I said we just ditch this car and... I'll just steal our next ride. Come on, no, we're not on a... All right, so, I mean, it's just a rolling right. bullseye. Okay, well, what do you think we ought to do? Just hitchhike? Well, about a mile back, there was that yard full of, full of cars. Somebody said, I don't know. Just do what normal people do and just buy one. Hey, Sheriff. I just got off the phone with City PD. They say they got one of our cruisers sitting in a lot. Out at the mall, just off Cox Creek. One of ours. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh... It's the one that Vicky signed out. They say it's just sitting empty. Hey, okay, what about that one? Honey, that, that car's so small. I, I don't think I can fit in that. You, you'd have to, yeah, that's uh, that's that's a lot of money. It's it's too expensive. It's not gonna break down on us, is it? Nah, you can drive this sucker to the moon, and for twelve thousand dollars? It's just ten thousand dollars, sir. Yeah, well, I, uh, I've been doing some research on this one, and uh, 12 is still a heck of a deal. Yeah? You try that kind of crap where I come from, so you get a boot right up your ass. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, seriously. Okay. Trying to do Who do you think we okay. are? Okay. I'm here with my lady, but I swear yeah. to God. We just really need a car, and, you know, <laughs> hang on a second. Okay. Look at me. What? Do you want that truck? Just say yes or no. <laughs> got off on the wrong foot. Ten thousand dollars is what it says. And I'm not even trying to talk you down on the price. I will give you ten thousand dollars cash. Ma'am, cash or not, the vehicle's worth more. <sighs> Let me talk it over with my husband real quick. What are you doing? He's trying to mess with you. Yes, he is. Look at that face. Uh-huh. Put it away. Or I'm going my way and you're going yours. Come on, you trust me, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. Let me get this for you. Jesus. All right. You want to play hardball? I've been offering you $11,000 cash. You're a tough negotiator. I normally wouldn't budge without a gun to my head. No one in any of the stores said they saw him. Check the security footage. Copy that. Damn it. 
put out a blue alert. Officer kidnapping. Jesus. How did we let this happen? This guy's a killer, Sheriff. Poor Vicky must be scared out of her mind. Nice Hawaiian shirt. Sheriff! Sheriff! Uh, Vicky said that she was taking Casey for a psych evaluation, but I just got off with mental health at the courthouse and nothing was scheduled. Nothing was scheduled for a psych eval or nothing was scheduled at all? Nothing for Casey White. Have him check again. Sir, I have him check it twice. Well, then where the hell was she taking him? That's just what I've been thinking. It's, it's possible that she wasn't taking him anywhere. She might have just been taking him. What do you mean by that, son? Well, um... Uh, you know, Vicky and Casey, they kind of had a special thing going on between them. We used to call them Mr. and Mrs. White. You know, just as a joke, though. What the hell am I just hearing about this now? How long have y'all... Footage, this was no kidnapping. We saw her drop off the Ford and then return to unlock his shackles, bringing him new clothes. And this next bit of business might leave you speechless. Damn. That's what we're looking for, folks. A bright orange Ford Edge with a blonde woman and a Sasquatch. I'm too excited to eat. <laughs> I just can't believe you're sitting there, you know? Can I come sit next? So, Mr. Y, <laughs> you know, God, you're sexy. between us now, right? We can do whatever we want. Okay. I think so. <laughs> yeah. God, once again. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that was a better Sean. Come here, honey. <laughs> All right, let's let's get out of here. What? Get out of here? No, no. We should, you know, we should stay put for a bit. You know, lay low for a while till things cool down some. 
Well, yeah, but, you know, moving targets harder to spot. Yeah. There are way more eyes on the road than there are here in the woods. Yeah, but we got such a good head start. And only one calling the shots here, okay? I know that, but the sooner we get to the border, the sooner we can get our lives started. You know, we can get on a boat, go wherever we want to go, but we got to get out of the country first. I just had people telling me what to do my whole life, so I don't need that coming from you. Is that what you think I'm doing? Honey, I'm not trying to tell you anything. You know I love you. You know I want the best for you. Yeah. Come on. We're in this together. We either make it to the border and win, or we go out in a hail of bullets, but come on, we're together in this. We're partners. I never pay you crazy, crazy woman, by the way. Crazy. Yeah, you did. Come on. Uh. Maybe uh, 45 more minutes and then we'll go. Baby, we are in no rush. <laughs> We gotta wait till this fire dies down. I, I don't want this beautiful forest to catch on fire. You're right, we should be responsible campers. <laughs> That's them. You're positive? Yep. Okay, that's all we're looking for now. A 2007 Ford F-150 hiccup, dark blue. In just a couple minutes now, so. Damn it. You want me to try and lose him? No, no, they might not be following us. Yeah, well, he's, he's riding damn close. They just concentrate on driving. He's stacking on the radio. Casey, stop it. Just give, give it me, me the gun. Concentrate. Give me the gun, if he damn. turns on his lights, then you gotta worry. Indiana, baby. Hey, um, you know what I'm thinking? I think we need to ditch this car and get another one. What? You said they wouldn't be looking for this one. Yeah, but you know, I was just thinking... They probably already found the last one we were driving, and I, I think we need to be a few moves ahead. Damn, I like this truck. Marshal, we've been spotted. Call on the hotline. Dark blue F-150 heading north on Route 641. Big up. Driver, turn off the ignition. Reach outside the car. Open your door from the outside. Now. Slowly step out of the vehicle. Slow. Put your hands up. Turn around. Back away. Move! Back, back! It's not them. Oh, uh, yeah, they got great lobster up in Canada. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I love lobsters. We, we might have to get a fish tank for the kitchen. Yeah. Wait, come on now. Casey, we're on the run. As soon as we're safe, I'll get you another truck, I promise. I'm a hold you to that. All right. Uh, Call you when I'm done. Wait, what if this guy starts hassling you on a place like that other pick? Have we met? I think I can handle it. I trust you, honey. You go. Give me some sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What's going on, Chief? You driving me? Yeah. You gonna wash your car or what? Yeah, I'm getting to it. What do you mean you're getting to it? 
Why don't you get to it so I can wash my car? All right, buddy, there are a bunch of other bays, all right? I'm going to be a while. Hey, they're all full, okay? You boys are messing with the wrong guy. Hey, buddy, anytime you want to go, we'll go. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Okay. Crazy, man. Get it, go. Stop it, man. Stop it. Stop it. My lady just saved your sorry asses. Stay out of your mamas. Okay, now you remember to register under your name, right? Yes, okay. ma'am. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly, mister. Yep, this is it. This is the truck. Who the hell knows what they're driving now? Which number is it? 32. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, hold on, honey. What are you doing? Let's be there. What? I gotta, I gotta carry you over, so. We're not married, so. Let's take care of that right here now. What are you doing? And you. What are you doing? Vicky. What are you doing? Take me, Casey, and we'll go to bed. <laughs> take that as a yes. And I, Casey, take you, Vicky, for we'll go to bed. By the power, I'm assuming, for the fact that I can't step foot nowhere near a courthouse, I pronounce us. Husband and wife. <laughs> you might kiss the bride. Oh, well, I'm gonna do a lot more than that. <laughs> There's a serial killer. Do you want to tell us why you did this? I am innocent. Out there. Can you go to camera three? Camera three. Look at there. That's him. That's our boy. That's poor her. Uh, do you have cameras outside? Here. That's her. You sure? It's a wig, but that's her. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so we're looking for a gray Cadillac DTS, 2007, 2008. That's what we're looking for now, right? And we're not speaking to the press. I'm assuming Vicky and Casey are actually keeping up with the news, so let's not hand them a reason to suddenly switch vehicles again. The official word is that the trail's gone cold. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Well, the search is ongoing. We're following up with thousands of tips from the hotline. Some people are saying they've been spotted. All of that, there is a viable option in the mix. Hell, they don't even know where to look. <laughs> That's good. Huh? I have wished they bust through a door right now. What are you talking about? I'm going nuts up in here. We've been stuck in this room for five damn days. Well, Casey, I don't think it's safe to leave yet. Yeah, well, there's nothing to do here. Thanks a lot. I thought we'd been having a real good time. Hey, we've, been having, we've been having a real good time. Best time, hey. Best time. It's just, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm locked up all over again. I mean, what's the point of busting out of jail if you're just going to be locked up in another room? Well, the point is for us... See, no plan. We've been switching our cars like they're snow rags. I mean, if we make it to Canada, we got no plan to get in. I mean, what the hell are we even doing here? Casey! Hey, please. Breathe. Just breathe. Calm down. Hey, God. Calm down. Hey. Honey. Listen to me. You're OK. in the whole damn world will get through to me. They are considered armed and dangerous. Come on, sit down. 
She's not. You know I never hurt you, right? Huh? Yeah, I know. You're my gal, you know that, right? Yeah. You know that. I know. You know that. I never hurt you. I you're my you're my gal. I never, never, never hurt you. And you're my man. And I know you won't hurt me, and I'm not gonna hurt you. Come here. I'm sorry I scared you, honey. Don't do it again. What is it? You're thinking something. We never really talked about. Um. No. I had a good guy, Vicky. I mean, when I was a kid, they told my parents something wrong with your boy's head. I did a lot of bad things, honey. I got in a lot of trouble. And, you know, the lawyers and the doctors, they'd hire and they tell the judge, it's a, it's a drugs. <laughs> when he's sober, he's, a, he's really, he's a good, you know, okay. He's an okay guy. But man, that didn't take no expert. Those that have really known me, they know the truth of it, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a good guy. I know you. And I know you're a good guy. I know that's who you really are. There's nothing wrong with you. There was never anything wrong with you. You've just never been loved before. If only I'd had you in my life before I got in all that trouble. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, okay? Let's forget all the rest of that stuff. None of it matters. We're together now, honey. I just gotta believe he somehow manipulated her. I mean, I've known Vicky for a long time, and she would just not be part of anything like this. I wouldn't have thought so either, but people are pretty much capable of anything. I mean, I've worked with Vicky for seven years. And I think there was a lot more going on in her head than she let on. My guess is that she had this whole thing planned. And we're never going to see her again. Vicky told me she had a long distance thing going on, but I never would have guessed in a hundred million phone. I just can't understand it. Straight and narrow now, Mr. Wild. Old Harris. <laughs> we still got enough to get out of here? Not enough to get where we're going. Good. Oh. <laughs> I love it when you call me, honey. 
Why can't the second kid be more like the first? I mean, you're hoping, yeah, it was hard on the mom, but look. Stop. Revise on suspects, Vicky White and Casey White. We are in pursuit. They are mobile, requesting immediate backup. Never had an oyster. Oh, well, you, you mean one of them slimy things? Yes. I am putting one of them things in my mouth. I'm a country boy. Well, I'm a country girl, and uh, they're supposed to be good for romance, romance purposes. I think you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, you Not know what's good you... for romance, honey? Chicken wings. <laughs> honey, I just think we, you we, need we to got a cop on our ass. Okay, just. Stay, stay calm. He's just doing what he does. No, honey, there's more. Ah, oh, damn it, there's more. What you want me to do? You want me to stop the car? No. I'm not going back there. Honey, I love you. I love you too. Some bitch rams me, all he did was wreck himself. Oh, I'm, I'm bleeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you banged your head a little. You're saying you shook him? Rams me, all he did was cause a pile up. Him and the rest of them were home free, honey. Well, I sure picked the right man to get sweet on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now on, we just slow down and take the side roads, okay? Whatever you say. <laughs> You're the. Not a bad place to spend forever, right? I've seen worse. <laughs> You clip me. Casey. You're at the time of my life. Oh, baby, you're at the time of my life. I love you. Do it, Marshall. Slow him out. Down. On the ground now. On the ground. Get him on the ground. Somebody please check him out. Thank you. 